at a job, when you have a disagreement with your co-worker, you still, end of the day, you each go home. You are not living together. Uh, you don't have to live that uh, conflict 24 hours a day. In marriage... Stakes, the stakes are high when you're are married. Are very high. Because you're yeah. living over the shop. Right. And so it, it was great to learn how to separate the book, the creative process even, from marriage. Um, so we did a lot of fun things, like a lot of walks. Yeah. A lot of going out to eat. Yeah. You gotta uh, have to find those spaces where you have neutral corners and yeah. And you can work through things that and uh, professionally. What was it? Something about ego we used to say. Yeah, you had to you had to put the ego aside. You had to we decided we you know, when it came to revising and working each other the things that each that the other person had created, we had to really force ourselves to remember that it's a product and that it's the product of the two of us, and it's not just mine or just yours. And that comes into play so many times after 38 books that we are doing a reading or talking someplace or you know meeting with uh, in conferences with people, and there's always someone that asks this book or that book. Who wrote that? Who wrote this chapter? Who had that? And we can't sell, can we? I mean, never mind trying... Well, well I wrote all the good stuff. So I... Right, and I wrote all the, all the killing fields, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, but they, um, yeah, well, we can't tell. How do you come up with the titles for your books? Ooh, titles are tough. Tough. And we had over the years, oh my So goodness. many titles change. Yeah, like we come up and the publisher even... We'll promote a book. We'll, yeah big on that, a promoted title, and then... Change it before it came out. Four months before release, three months before release. Marketing would, have, would say... No, this won't work. And they change it. And then we would get letters and emails from readers saying, I'm looking for this... I'm looking for cloth of gold that was advertised in this publication, and I read a teaser, and I love it, and I go to every bookstore, and I can't find it. What is it? I mean, like... Well, it was changed to, <laughs> it was art, changed of gold, to yeah. art of gold. You know, we had so many of those. The anointed did. became flame, uh, or something. No, jeweled cup became jeweled flame. Cup flame. Yeah, we had so many titles. And the crazy thing was that that they would promote it, mm -hmm. and then they changed the title. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was talking about the woman. Uh, Specifically, because um, you know, one of the areas we we address had had to do with women. I mean, it, it's true that Shakespeare, you know, time frame he wrote, and but but he wrote about characters like uh, Beatrice. Beatrice, that she was a woman that knew what she wanted, you know, and she chose um, at the end. And she was a very modern woman, you know, at, at her time. So, Kate. In um, um, Taming the Shrew, that play, that's that, right. that play, what we did was, this is a book that comes out in September, what we did was we took, that was a play of Shakespeare that we always had a difficult time with, with the different um, it productions of it, yeah, and, mm -hmm. and, and we felt that um, it, the humor took charge of belittle Kate and really destroy Kate. In some uh, ways. In, in some ways. So we change that. And, and so that's, that's how our life comes yeah, in, we, our fiction. We should, yeah, we should. This trilogy uh, that we're writing for St. Martin's Press right now is, uh, is, the, is loosely based on three of Shakespeare's plays. And that's why the, the blog, that's why we were thinking about these characters. Um, the first one was uh, Much Ado About Highlanders, based on the Much, much Ado About Nothing. Nothing. And that's where Beatrice came in. And... And that was a that was really very interesting, because we were we took it and and put it in the Scottish Highlands and we had characters who were very different. We've even included an element of magic, I guess, to uh, into this story. Uh, a bit of the supernatural or the paranormal to go with the relationship and the adventure and the love story, and and then we the second one was we based on as Niku said, Taming of the Shrew, and that was. Um, 
uh, we have Taming the Highlander. Which we combine with, yeah. uh, Taming of the Shrew with Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. So the Shrew is the Beast. Yeah. We, had, and we, we turned that around. We that. turned that around. And the one that is doing the Taming is Kate. Of Shakespeare, so so she we, has a lot of the characteristics of of uh, Kate in in the play, but uh, but she's she has. Uh, well, she's in charge. Mm -hmm. She she she's a woman that knows what she wants. Um, she has growth. And, she has growth that she has to accomplish as well. Right. So so it's really fun. And the last one that come, uh, the and that book comes out in September, and then the the third book is that is finishing now. Yeah, is based on Tempest on the Tempest. So we have Tempest in the Highlands, and that was really fun because it, it it's been fun writing it because it it it's a play that has so much magic in it you know in the original, and so we, it it was perfect for the the culmination of of these of this trilogy. In which we actually will bring all these characters together in a in a kind of an exciting and island setting. And, and